let's see some questions on combinatorial arguments so let's see some questions i just want you to create one story for me okay so first of all let me tell you that this we have already seen right yes or no this we have already seen from kk to nk the summation is n plus 1 k plus 1 okay what was the story for this the story was max element story maximum element story correct this identity let me tell you this 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 identity this is called hokistic identity anyway this is just the name you don't have to worry about the name but this is known as hokistic identity and this we have already seen you know the story story was maximum element story now can anyone create a story for this a combinatorial proof for this how will you create now you are expert just try i have already told you how to create a story you are expert now so can you try can you try to create a story to prove this we want to prove this so let's create a story basically the idea see okay the idea is very simple when you see this what will come to your mind when you see this what will come to your mind when you see this in okay to your mind it will come that you have a k you have uh, from n people you are selecting k people and then when you see this then what will come to your mind from n people select k people from n people select k people and then make one of them president make one of them president and what is this what is this directly select the president and then select the remaining k minus 1 people yes or no is this clear to everyone so i can say that story this is the story the story is you have total n people from from those n people you select a team of k people with one of them as captain what is the side one of the story like what is this side this side is select k people then make one of them as captain yes or no select k people from n you select k people from n you select k people then one of them you make president then one of them you make president what is the side two directly select a president first you select a president first you select a president first you select a president then from the remaining people you select a k minus 1 people yes or no first directly select a captain and then select a remaining k minus 1 people from n minus 1 people for example let's assume you have these people a b c d okay these people you have and let us assume that we want to select let's assume k is equal to 3 okay so we want to select three people with with one captain okay so this is the idea select three okay one of them as captain one of them is captain one of them is a captain then what will be the then what is the answer what will be the answer answer is like this see okay there are two ways side one of the story what is the side one of the story side one of the story first you select three people first you select three people for example a b c i select then i make one of them president then i then i make one of them captain okay so i select these three people a b c and i make one of them captain i select three people a b c i make one of them captain or or i can select a c d i can make one of them captain i can select a c d i can make one of them captain so in this side in this side one what i am doing i am selecting from four people there are total four people from four people i am selecting three people and then one of them once i select these three people for example if i select abc if i select abc then i can make one of them president in three ways so the idea is this now tell me in the side two of the story what will happen in the side two first you select a captain first you select a captain okay so for example let me select a captain first i am selecting a captain first now i am selecting two remaining people two remaining people i am selecting okay first let me select a captain then i am selecting remaining two people first let me select a captain then i am selecting remaining two people are you getting this point so okay all so whatever you do okay this is same first time selecting a captain uh, first time selecting a captain like first time selecting a captain then i am selecting two so this is the idea so first time selecting captain means four ways 
first i select a captain and then then okay then i select from the remaining three people i select two people so these two are same yes or no these two are same so this is your this is the idea is this point clear anyone has any doubt very simple right so now you know how to create a story let me tell you this story this story was created by our student i shared in the group right did you see so actually one student uh, sent me this question and he also sent the answer and this was the answer basically like okay the two sides of the story this was the answer side one side two and it made it made me feel very happy okay because now now you know how to create a story for combinatorial identities is everything clear now in the gate exam the same question they can ask in different way this same question they can ask like this yes or no see this is not a different this is the same question we have already done the same question they can ask you in a different way okay basically what they have done what they have done here you already know that you already know from n people you select k from n people you select r people make one of them president is equal to okay like this okay whenever you write any identity read like this okay just tell the story in your mind tell the story from n people select r people make one of them president is equal to is equal to select one president directly select one president directly and then from the remaining people select r minus one people okay and this is same as this is same as ncr is equal to n divided by r n minus one r minus one okay so ncr that is equal to n by r okay so basically this this is important this you can you can you can see this is very very nice very nice thing we have for example if i ask you what is 50 c 30 what can i write that 50 c 30 what will i write that what will i write that so i will write it i will write it 50 divided by 30 49 c 29 uh, 49 c 29 yes correct very simple so this is how you can write ncr is equal to n divided by r n minus r cr okay so basically ncr that is equal to n divided by r multiplied by n minus 1 cr minus 1 this is your statement this is this is the statement okay so now you can do okay whatever you want you can do for example 48 c 21 that is equal to 48 divided by 21 then 47 c 20 so like this you can do okay so quite simple like this you can use it next have we seen this do you remember we have already seen this if you remember we have already seen this this is the same story basically we have seen that there are k uh, there are n boys there are n boys there are n girls then what we do okay we select two of them we select we select two of them we select two then okay from two n people you select two is equal to is equal to so both of them you select from boys means both boys both boys if i write like this then what it means both boys and if i write like this then what it means what it means yes this is remember this is same as nc2 this is same as nc2 this thing is same as nc2 because we know ncr is equal to ncn minus r okay so remember this you know ncr is equal to ncn minus r so this simply means both girls this simply means both girls okay this simply means both girls i can say because nc2 and one of them is boy one of them is girl one of them one boy one girl one boy one girl 
so like this also they can give you okay so so the point is that from 2n people or maybe from 2k people you are selecting two people that is same as that is same as k square plus k square plus from k people you are selecting two people twice of that this is same as k square plus from k you select two and from k you select k minus two okay so they can ask you in any format they can ask all these are same now let's move on this we have already seen do you remember summation of remember the summation of summation of k n c k is n to power n where k is going from 1 to n this we have already seen what was the story what was the story for this a story for this was you make a committee with president you make a committee this was the story you make a committee with with one of them as president with one of them as president this was the story we have already seen this now okay so make make a committee with one of them as president now this question has come in the gate exam like this in the gate exam they have asked the same question but in a different way but in a different way you can notice this is gate 2019 question and this is very simple if you do if you if you do by story if you create a story and if you do this is very simple okay when you see this what will come to your mind when you see this then from n people you are selecting k people one of them you are making one of them you are making president and this k is going from 1 to n this k is going from 1 to n it means you are selecting k people you see it means you are making a committee with the president but this k is going from 1 to n so this committee can have one people or two people or three people or four people or five people this committee can have any number of people with one of them as president this is the idea yes or no now this thing is same as this thing is same as this story this same story i can write like this okay this same story i can say that like like this is your set 1 2 3 and so on and then what you are doing basically you are make you are taking a subset you are taking a you are making a committee right so first of all you are making a committee means you are taking subset of these people yes or no you are making a committee and then one of these mean one of one of this like you are making a committee and one of this will be president so this is your committee this is your committee and this is the president this is the president and of course x belongs to what x belongs to a president is in this committee so tell me how many this type of pairs you can create like for example you can create like this like like this you can create okay like for example maybe 2 is the president and this is your committee 2 comma 3 so this we have to count also maybe one is the president and maybe this is the uh, this is the committee this you have to count maybe one is the president and this complete set u complete set u is the committee this also you have to count means we are making a committee of all the people you are selecting all the people in committee and making one as a president so can you notice this this and this they are same they are the same story making a committee with one of them as president yes or no this is same as okay so basically this idea summation k from n you are selecting k people one of them you are making president and this k is going from 1 to n this is equal to this is equal to directly select a president and then make a committee then then select remaining then make a committee first directly select a president then make a committee what is this this is basically this is basically i am what i am doing i am doing a subset a subset of n people okay a subset of n people one of them is president one of them is president okay that is that is equal to this and this is the same idea now in this question you can notice the set u the set u is given to you and what the question is asking what is the cardinality of a 
in a what we have what is the cardinality of a in a we have a committee a subset of you and there is a president and there is a president okay first you make a committee then you make a president then you can notice that both are same yes or no yes or no both are same is it clear okay so because both are same here you are making a committee first then you are selecting a president here you are selecting a president first then you are making a committee so here the answer will be what then which of the following is cardinality of a both are same both are cardinality of a so the answer will be both one and two both are cardinality of a this is a okay is this clear like this they can ask you the question in the gate exam this question is very simple like this is a two mark question some students will solve this question in one uh, in 30 seconds some students will solve this question in five minute ten minute okay so you can notice this is an easy question if you understand all the stories that we have created all the stories that we have seen all the combinatorial identity identities that we have seen is this clear